I'm Jess Parnes for GoPSUSports.com and welcome to This Week in Penn State Sports where I'll fill you in on all your Nittany Lion sports action. Lots of awards to cover, but today we'd like to begin by offering our congratulations to longtime lacrosse coach Glenn Thiel, who will be retiring June 30th. A Penn State graduate himself, Thiel has been the Nittany Lion lacrosse coach for 33 years and a collegiate head coach for 43. In 33 years, he led Penn State to the NCAA tournament, numerous top 20 national rankings, and conference regular season crowns. He leaves Penn State with a 313 to 222 career record, including a 236 to 186 mark at Penn State. During his time as head coach of the Nittany Lions, Coach Thea led Penn State to its first ever trip to the NCAA Championships in 2003 and again in 2005, as well as earning ECAC Coach of the Year honors in 2005. We thank him for his dedication and many years of service and congratulate him on his much deserved retirement. The national recognition continues to pour in for the Penn State baseball team as senior pitcher David Lutz was named CollegeBaseballInsiders.com's Central Pitcher of the Week just two days after he was named the Lions' first Big Ten Pitcher of the Week since 2007. Lutz threw 11 innings against Michigan State, allowing only one earned run while striking out six, winning both of his outings to up his record to four and three. He set a new school record for career appearances at 78 and tied the program's single season mark at 29 in the same category. On Friday, Lutz tossed two scoreless innings from the bullpen, earning the win after Penn State exploded for 16 late inning runs for an 18 7 victory. He then made his first career start on Sunday, going the full nine innings in a convincing 9 1 win, clinching the series sweep over the Spartans. Lutz's hot streak extends back into early April as he owns an impressive .76 ERA over his last 23.2 innings. Overall, he leads the squad with a 3.04 ERA and 56.1 innings pitched. Freshman outfielder Steve Snyder was named Player of the Week after hitting .632 in his last four games. The true freshman has recorded multiple hits in each of his last six games with a total of 18 in that span. After going 2-for-4 on Tuesday against LaSalle, he went 3-for-6 with three RBIs and a run scored in Friday's series opener versus MSU. Snyder followed with a career-high tying four hits with a walk, stolen base, triple, three RBIs, and career-high four runs scored. Two days after earning Big Ten Player of the Week, Snyder became one of 16 players to be included on the College Baseball Foundation's national all-star lineup and the only player from the Big Ten. This marks Penn State's first national honor this season and fourth overall. The Nittany Lions' 49 runs against the Spartans were the most in a three-game Big Ten series in school history. They have scored 81 runs over their last five conference games, which have all been wins, and look to continue the streak as they welcome the Iowa Hawkeyes to Medler Field at Lubrano Park on Friday, with the first pitch scheduled for 7.05 p.m. Congratulations to Mark Pavlik and the men's volleyball team as they advance to the NCAA Men's Volleyball National Championships by defeating number two seed Cal State Northridge in the national semifinals. The Nittany Lions will take on top-seeded Stanford on their home floor Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern. The national championship will be broadcast live on ESPN with a simulcast on ESPN360.com. It can also be heard on the web at GoPSUSports.com and in the State College area on WRSC-FM 103.1. Follow the team as they prepare for the finals by visiting their page on GoPSUSports.com and check out Pav and the players' blogs, behind-the-scenes team videos, audio exclusives, and more. Women's lacrosse team was victorious in the first round of the 2010 ALC Championship and advanced to take on number one seed Northwestern on Friday at 3 p.m. The 18th ranked squad finished the season 9-6, and six, which earned themselves a number four seed in the tournament. The Nittany Lions softball team returns home this weekend for a two-game set against Big Ten rival Ohio State. The two games against the Buckeyes are the final two home games of the season for the Nittany Lions. They're also the final two games that will ever be played in the current Nittany Lion field. The games are set for Saturday at 2 p.m. and Sunday at 1 p.m. In 2011, Penn State softball's new home will be Beard Field at Nittany Lion Park. The ceremonial groundbreaking is Friday at 3.30 p.m. with Penn State President Graham Spanier, A.D. Tim Curley, Head Coach Robin Petrini, and members of the team all expected to be there. On Friday, Penn State will play host to teams across the country as they host the annual Penn State Open. On the women's side, senior Fawn Dora and junior Siobhan Greaves will look to continue their current hot streak after both winning two events each at last weekend's Jesse Owens Trek Classic. For the men, all eyes will be on freshman Casimir Loxham after he clocked the nation's leading performance in the 800 meter last week at the Peyton Jordan Invitational. Action is set for 4 p.m. at Nittany Line Track. 
Congratulations to senior Penn State golfer Kevin Foley, who was named to the first team All Big Ten team for the second consecutive year. Foley was also identified by the conference as the 2006-2007 Big Ten Freshman of the Year and is just the sixth Nittany Lion to be named a conference team member and the first Nittany Lion to acclaim back-to-back first team recognition in Penn State men's golf history. Ranked 48th in the country, Foley carded first play finishes at the Robert Kepler Intercollegiate and won the 2010 Rutherford Intercollegiate Golf Tournament held at Penn State's Blue and White Course, bringing his individual tournament titles to six, which is the most for any Penn State golfer. He also earned Big Ten Golfer of the Week on April 14th. The Nittany Lions are eligible for NCAA regional placement and will look to make their 20th appearance in the past 21 years. Congratulations to senior wrestler Kyler Sanderson and sophomore Cameron Wade, who have been named to the national NWCA All-Academic Team. Sanderson became a two-time All-American this year after a sixth-place finish at 157 pounds and has earned a 3.24 GPA in integrated arts and will graduate in May. As a four-year national qualifier, he ended his collegiate career with a 114-33 career record with 18 pins, seven technical falls, and 25 majors. Wade made his first trip to Nationals this year after qualifying at heavyweight with a fifth place finish at Big Tens and went 2-2 two and two in his first trip to the NCAA Championships. He totaled a 3.46 GPA in finance and heads into his junior year with a 37-25 overall record. And for all graduating seniors, don't forget you have the opportunity to have your picture taken in the tunnel at Beaver Stadium with a view of the field and the stadium in the background on May 15th, hosted by the All Sports Museum. A photographer will be there from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and 8x10 prints will be made available for $25 if picked up at the museum or $30 to be delivered home with additional prints for just $10 a copy. Proceeds from the event will benefit the Penn State All Sports Museum and only check or cash will be accepted. For more information, please visit the museum's page on gopsusports.com. And seniors, don't forget to get the official Penn State 2010 graduation shirt for just $20, as well as other Penn State merchandise before leaving Happy Valley. Thanks for joining us today. For gopsusports.com, I'm Jess Parness.